Hello everyone, and welcome to Dyson Sphere Program Tutorial Series. Today's episode, we're going to be showing early game basic hub design. And it's a design that uh, many people use, and I'm going to show it to you today. And this is just going to be how to set the hub up, or how I set mine up. The items that you're going to need going into the hub is five. You're going to have iron ingots, you're going to have stone bricks, you're going to have magnetic coils, you're going to have circuit boards, and you're going to have gears. All things that um, are pretty easy to make early game. Circuit boards need copper and iron. Magnetic coils need copper and the magnetic rings, which are made from iron ore. And then the gears, which are made from iron plate. Stone is from smelting stone, and then iron is obviously from smelting iron. So early game, I believe I do eight or nine th um, things. And the way I set that up, you're going you're gonna to have early games um, assemblers. So I just basically, I do two, well, you wouldn't have to, but for this purpose, we'll do two by two by two. Um, and then we'll leave two on the end, and I'll show you why. Now, the easiest way to do this is certain items, like, say, belts, only need iron plates or iron ingots and gears. And assemblers, sorters need iron plate in these circuit boards. So instead of monkeying with setting everyone up specifically for what items they need, I just simply do it like this. You run belts this way, that's gonna be your two inputs, and then you're gonna have, over here, you're gonna have your three inputs. Now, where these do make a difference, and again, early game, you do have access to MK2 sorters, that is in your, let's see what, uh, I think that's in your improved logistics, which you can make with blue cubes. So it's not obviously as easy as your basic logistics, but these are one of your first things that you're gonna make. So we're gonna go um, under the assumption that you have Mark II sorters. And you don't necessarily need them, but they do come in handy for things like belts and sorters themselves. Now the next thing is you wanna put a box in front of every one of these. Now, well, let me, do it like that it won't okay so we're just going to do do these individually um because this is the way i have them spaced out it won't work by clicking and dragging them and the reason why you want to have a box oh what are we doing down here this is not right and this can actually just extend it doesn't really matter is uh, you want to have a box for each item and again again this is this is your early game uh hub you're on your power poles. I wish it wouldn't be nighttime. We might get the sun coming up. Uh, sun's over there. But in any case, so the way you set it up is you have those five inputs coming in. Now, certain things are used a lot more than other things. And especially when it comes to belts. Belts, you're going to need iron plate and, and gears. And then assembler or uh, sorters, you're going to need iron plates and you're going to need circuit boards. Now, things like assemblers need all three of them. But again, you're not making them in mass as you are your belts. And I'll show you exactly how I lay this out in what order um, when we're done. But one cool feature with these is you you click on it, left click, and then you right click, and you can and you can put a memo of what you want to have. So for instance, this one I'm going to have iron plate. This one I'm going to have circuit boards. This one, the outside one, I always put stone bricks because it's only used in, I believe, two things as we start going down through, or maybe even one at the moment. And then this one, we're going to put gears, which are here. And then the last one is going to be your magnetic coils. And again, you can do this however you like. This is just the way I like to set it up. And you take your, your sorters in, in, out. And then here you're going to have in, in, in and that's it and you copy paste this through the whole array now you may be wasting inserters this way or shoulders this way but it's still not worth picking and choosing which one because now i choose a recipe it doesn't matter which recipe i choose the the sorters are already set up so the order i do it is i do belts mark one i do sorters then I will come into, and sometimes it depends on which one I want to choose, but I usually do assembly machines. Then I'll do miners. I'll then do smelters, 
which smelters will take the stone brick. And then I like to come in here now. Sorters, you will your or, or, sorry splitters you have in your your um, second science that I showed you the upgrade to logistics, which I always like to include those. And then we're gonna put in storage boxes, and then down at the end here you can put um, your thermal power generators, your wind turbines, and then lastly, oops, thank you auto save, and then I put. Tesla towers and the reason why I do that is because when you want to upgrade to or not upgrade but add on to wireless power towers they require Tesla towers now this you don't necessarily have early game like you can make these it's made with glass these prisms and it's made with magnetic coils but I don't put them on my early game bus I don't or early game hub I don't find I use enough of them to warrant that because then you have to bring in glass or the prisms and it just doesn't make any sense for me so it's basically 10 items now again you can get away with not having sorters or um, splitters on here because they are they are in proof logistics too but I find I put it on there so that's two four six eight ten because early game now I have everything unlocked because with I'm using an advanced game for this you have one two three four you're gonna have five six seven eight nine and then your tenth one is in your storage boxes everything else will come later on now again once you research storage tanks you can put those but that requires glass and i don't put that on my early game my early game hub now the last thing you do is you want to set all of these now usually belts i'll have five sorters i'll have two and then everything else i'll have one eh, i guess two you could do two um, it wouldn't really hurt to have two of all these and then smelters. I usually do four Splitters I'll use one boxes. I'll do one thermal generators depending on what you're going for I'll use two now here this you could have as many as you want But I usually like to do four because when I go to a new planet You can use your wind turbines. They don't require do I have any solar panels here? I do not because solar panels require silicon, which means you're going to have to do an early silicon build, which if you look at my previous tutorial, it does show you how to do that using stone before you actually have silicon ore. You can make it with stone on your home planet early game. So again, you're going to be using a lot of these. So maybe even do five stacks. And then your, your Tesla towers, I usually do two stacks. And it's a simple, are we going to get the sun coming up at, at some point? Actually, it's over there. So we are coming into daylight. So this next simple thing is, again, I'm using a logistics station just for ease of use. Um, otherwise, you'll be wanting to bring in your belts from your smelters and your other assemblers, making your gears and your coils and your circuit boards, which again are all early game tech that you can easily do. I just don't need to do that on in camera for you. So, okay, we're going to do stone bricks. We're going to come in here with circuit boards connect those up we're gonna have iron coming in and then over here we're gonna have the gears and then on this last one we're gonna do magnetic coils and we can watch this run and as I said this will go slow um, it won't just crazy make up a lot of speed to get these in now I did say in the beginning if you do upgrade something with your mk2 logistics I would upgrade the output on sorters oop do I not have any of these I do not have any shoot okay never mind I don't have any <laughs> I don't have any of those sorters let's see if I can just make a couple I can make a few oh I can make one let's just upgrade those and the reason why is because these produce at a rate of one per second and this belt or this sorter cannot move items at one per second at that speed and then same thing with belts because every one will produce three so it's basically three per second you need you need to have the sorters here that can move three trips per second now again this still won't keep up um but you can't really do two um so but again it doesn't really matter because this will build up and if, as you're coming back you can just run and left click sh control grab what's in here again left click control grab what's in here the rest of the items you can just leave at one your your basic sorters because eventually this will all fill up that's why you put the most important things first now again you can run this a different way if you want 
but this is the way I do it because you always use belt and sorters first, then assemblers, miners, smelters, splitters. You don't really even need for early, early game, but I like to have it once you get MK2 logistics. You got storage chests, of course you need your thermal power generators once you start getting coal for power and you have your wind turbines and then your Tesla towers. And again, Tesla towers are fairly easy to make in hand if you need to. They only require a couple things, but they go at the end of the list because, or the end of the line, because you want to have on your power, your um, wireless power towers. But that's basically it. And the good thing with, with this setup is while you're out doing other things, while you're exploring your planet, setting up basic smelting arrays, setting up signs, this will run in the background. As long as you have all inputs coming in, this will run in the background. And before you know it, you're going to be coming down here. These boxes are going to be filled. Look at that. We already have 15 splitters. We're good. This we're ready. Actually, you can, I mean, again, I just set it for two for now. It doesn't matter. Again, two. But look, you have 25 made. You have 33 made. You have 27 made. Here you have a full, almost a full stack made. Here you have almost a full stack made. And it's a good way to have a little hub set up. It doesn't take a lot of resources to handcraft. And there you go. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will be doing a tutorial on my Mark II, my intermediate hub that'll be out in a little bit later on. And then of course your your um, late game hub, which requires a lot of materials. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.